what happens when a company goes out of business or files bankruptcy in the middle of a sweepstakes. So we've seen this happen. We've actually seen it happen recently with one going on currently. The answer is sometimes nothing. I mean, nothing changes because there's so many versions of bankruptcy that companies can be in, even with store closures. So many times the promotion is still fulfilled. Also, a lot of times these promotions were set in place months ago and the money's already been allocated and the funds have been allocated and a lot of times being run by a judging agency. So they actually have all the funds, they've been paid, they have all the prizes and so they can ship the prizes at the end of the sweepstakes. Now there are times where that doesn't happen or if a company's running their own and especially if they're starting to let people go, maybe the whole marketing team's gone, it may just disappear. So the best thing though is not to worry about it. You really can't do anything to control it. And if you see a sweep out there that you wanna enter, still enter it. I have one on the site right now, it's a great sweep. Will it be fulfilled? I fully think it will, but maybe not. Um, but we can't ro control it, so therefore I'm gonna enter it and we're gonna move on. Uh, what you do wanna pay, make, pay attention to though is if you have gift cards. A lot of us who enter sweepstakes win a lot of gift cards and have hundreds if not thousands of dollars in gift cards sitting at home. I know as crazy as that sounds, most of us who do this on a regular basis have a gift card bin. Now, I always advocate trying to use, especially like the Visas, the MasterCards, the Amex, try and use those up immediately. Uh, you can put them on your Amazon account. I use them to pay various different bills. Some of you guys know that my goal has not to be not to pay for my cell phone or my internet and cable bill for my house. I haven't done that now in almost 10 years because all I've done is as I've won gift cards and a lot of them are smaller, $10, $20, $25, $50, and I'm just putting them on that bill and I always carry an outstanding credit with the company. The ones for stores though and restaurants, you can't always use them right away. Uh, I Obviously, I encourage you to try and use them, but sometimes you can't. So what happens? They sit on your desk in a bin, in a drawer, and if a company decides to go under, they usually give you a certain amount of time that you have to redeem those. And after that, they kind of go away and you lose out on your value. Now, different states have different rules and, and laws on it, but for the most part, if a company goes away, there's an outstanding balance, it's gone. What you can do though is keep them because there are times that stores return or come back and they emerge from bankruptcy and sometimes they'll actually start taking gift cards again. Now, again, we're talking about, you know, just a, a small portion of companies, you know, most of us can name some of the big ones that happen to uh, over our course of the lifetime, but uh, they're, they're very, it's a very minor portion of the gift cards that you probably want. So it's just something to think about. But again, the biggest thing, and if you watch my Q&A the other day, is control the things you can control. And one of the biggest things is entering. And I think some people get caught up in so much of the other stuff that they just forget to enter. Even reading the rules, I plan on doing a post because I'm really curious what's more important, reading the rules or entering? I think it's actually entering. If you don't enter and you screw up, so be it, it happens. But if you spend so much time reading the rules, you might have been able to enter 15 other sweeps, especially if you belong to a site like I win. Hopefully I've read those for you and I've put on the site who's eligible and what the prizes are and things. So you don't have to read word for word on the entries. We all make mistakes, including myself, but in general, the amount of time you'll spend doing all that just doesn't make it worthwhile. So if there's a lesson to be learned, enter. Entering equals winning. See you next time.